Hey folks, welcome to life on Beagle Road. We are beat, but this is fair week. We're getting ready for back to school. School starts in one week and I've got travel in a week too. So we gotta buckle down and get some stuff done. Can you take it We just brought the girls back down from the other pasture back into their day-to-day -day pasture that's here at the barn. And as you can see, things have recovered pretty well. And there's Carly, she's looking pretty good. Her doling is actually gonna be leaving later today, so we're gonna get her ready at the same time that we're getting the goats ready for the fair. Trim up her hooves, make sure she's got some probiotics. I'm glad that she's gonna be going. Uh, it'll be good for Carly to get out of milk and, and put weight back on. Now when I say that this pasture has recovered, I don't mean that all of the parasites in the soil here are dead, but what I do mean is that the grass and weeds and everything else here in the pastures has grown high enough so that the goats are eating things that aren't right on the ground. So that's really the, the idea with letting a pasture rest. Realistically, if you wanted to totally rid a pasture of parasites, I, I don't know, that would take forever, years, but what we can do is make sure that the goats aren't eating directly off the ground. And we can do that pretty quickly, like inside of a week or so. You can't get all those parasites off of those like, wipes you get. It only so, says it's because 99.9% .9 of all germs. Exactly. All right, let's get started getting these goats ready for the show. All right, we got Stevie shaved, and uh, that was a task. I am sweating profusely. She liked being shaved as much as she liked being milked the first few times. Now we are gonna get little Joni Mitchell ready. She is not going to the show, but she is actually going to her new home later today. We're gonna get her hooves trimmed and uh, get her some probiotic gel so she's ready for the trip. In other news, I failed to tattoo a goat. Now I gotta do it right now. I have so much to do in so little time. I can't take it. I am putting the tattoo numbers and letters that I need in the water here. I'm putting the numbers and letters in here. And unfortunately, although I have a revolving head tattooer, which would mean that I should be able to just set it up and go, I have an L in my herd tattoo and this year's letter for tattooing is also L. I guess I should have ordered two L's. L, B, four, need a one, numero uno. Got my green paste ink and I've got this. All right, I've got this all cleaned up with alcohol and now I'm going to test it on a piece of paper and make sure it looks right. Put this between Put the back two in things there. right here. <laughs> Rhiannon, baby, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Rhiannon 
has a challenging personality, let's say. Okay, fine, she's a spaz. She's a complete spaz. She has been since the moment she was born. And it's really funny because her brother and her dam are the friendliest goats you will ever find. This one though, nut job. I don't know. Great job. Yes, great job. <laughs> oh, all right, let me try to stand her up. All right, last up is Scarlet. She shouldn't take long at all because she was just clipped recently and her hooves were done very recently. So we'll just give her the uh, quick once over and then we'll get our box packed to go to the fair tomorrow. So what am I putting in my box to go to the fair? I'm gonna put in my clippers because I am certain that I'm gonna find some spots that need touched up. Scissors for the same reason. Sorry, Kenny, I know these are your beard scissors, but goats have beards too. Hoof trimmers and blood stop powder in case I missed any hooves. Probiotics. I know you're not sick of listening to me talk about probiotics. I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol along too. Since I had to tattoo here at the last minute, I'm gonna try to clean off some of the excess green paint tomorrow so everybody just looks a little nicer. I'm sure that's not like actually a thing, but it would make me feel better. I've got a bucket of feed and I've got two buckets to use for water. Also, we'll have two pens at the fair because I have to keep Rhiannon and Stevie separated until after Stevie has been shown. We're gonna have a gourmet dinner, organic, you know, grown right here kind of meal before we go to the fair tomorrow. There are only so many hours in the day, folks. Another thing I'm gonna do quick is make sure that I have everybody's registration papers and my health certificate from the vet. Bridgie, we gotta get to bed. We have a busy, busy day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hmm? But I need you to be well rested so you can help me at the goat show. This isn't resting. What? This isn't resting. This isn't resting? What is it? It's doing more. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. The goats aren't prepared enough. I'm not prepared enough. But what do we always preach here? Just start. We gotta start. We gotta just go and do it and get our first goat show out of the way. Have you ever watched our first YouTube video? No, don't go back and watch it. It's literally Kenny scrambling eggs. <laughs> the color's terrible, everything's terrible. But if we never did that, we wouldn't be doing this now. So, here's to a learning experience tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. All right, I gotta get these kids in bed because they have been up way too late lately, and the last thing I need is cranky kids tomorrow. <laughs> that I can't do on top of everything else. I'm gonna ice my knee and start editing this video. Yep, that's the story. Thanks for sticking with us through Vlogist. We'll see you on day 23. I don't know, Kenny, there's your thumbnail.